I received a lot of review requests for this specific pen, including from my friend Stephen, who is also called Stephen, and both of us have names spelled in exactly the same way, so it is rather difficult to say no to him, and therefore, I needed to review it. Now, how shall we pronounce this name? <laughs> in modern parlance, Procyon. I can live with that. Procyon, I can live with that. In ancient Greek, Procyon, before the dog. Why? Well, long story short, Procyon was the Greek goddess of breakfast cereals. I started a joke that started the whole world crying. No, it was actually not the goddess of breakfast cereals. Um, Procyon, as I said, Procyon means before the dog. It is the brightest star, Alpha Canis Major, if you want to get technical, uh, the, the brightest star in the constellation Canis Major, the big dog. I love how poetic some of these constellations' names are. But anyway, so a very bright star, one of the 21 first magnitude stars, which is rather cool, that means that they're very bright, and that's what the pen is named after. Uh, I almost feel like it takes longer to explain the name of the pen than actually talk about the pen, but that's okay. Very interesting pen, platinum, metal, relatively affordable, but of course the issue was I needed one. So I contacted my friend Brian Goulet and I said, hombre, that's how we always start. Hombre, me puedes mandar una pluma? And he said, uh, para ti, cabrón, que pluma? And I said, well, I need a Procyon. He said, okay. And then we did... That's a secret handshake. You don't know that, but we do. And he sent me one. So that was it. Boom. So I think we should all thank, kindly thank uh, uh, Brian, because that makes these types of reviews possible. Okay? And I know that a lot of people were excited for this pen, seeing it, so that's always really nice. So what I'm going to do is cover the parts of the pen, do a writing sample and tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Let's get started. Okay, there we go. So I have this <clears throat> notion that the motion of the approachion is here. Uh, so the pen, 52.50 US is the price, uh, which I think is relatively affordable, right? This is not a $5 preppy, it's, it's not a, the, the the metal incarnation of the preppy, the, the, the plaisir, which uh, is, I think, $17, 17 something. So it is a bit more expensive, but the real question, of course, is, is it truly worth the price of the upgrade? So, so a uh, couple of, a little bit of information about the pen before I get into the parts. It does have the slip and seal mechanism and the screw cap, so your nib should not dry out. It has an interesting feature, which is this feed. You see that has that little hole there uh, that allows you to suck up ink from a bottle uh, without having to submerge the whole section. So if there's just a little bit of ink left, you can still get it out of the bottle, which is quite cool. And uh, that's pretty much it. The, the, the nib is a little reminiscent of the preppy nib, I have the feeling it's not exactly the same nib, but it is a little reminiscent of that nib. It is a steel nib, which at that price you would kind of expect, right? And that's that's pretty much it. So here you see the pen side by side with the Safari, and you see that they are quite similar in size, right? But now let's have a look at the parts of the pen. So the finial on top of the cap is the same material as the rest of the cap. Uh, we have the cap here, we have the clip, right? Clip is quite nice. We have the Procyon, 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 uh, whatever we, we like to make of that. Barrel, there is a nice texture, which I, I quite enjoy. It's uh, it's not too coarse, it's it's a nice, nice texture, makes it, makes it quite tactile. And then we have this end here at the barrel. As I said, the pen unscrews this the slip and seal mechanism. I quite like these metal threads. They are metal, especially at the at the end part here. They are a little sharp, and they're also uh, there's this metal part which is not extremely sharp, but you do feel it when you when you touch it. I mean, it's it's not perfectly rounded either. 
the pen is fed by cartridges and uh, or or a converter and uh, I'll show you the box you have a quite a, a cute box uh, cardboard outer sleeve uh, and then you have the the actual box since 1919 Japan there was a little pen sleeve and then you have no less than four cartridges this is three brown yes I know I can count but the fourth one is in the pen right uh, which which I think is, is quite nice so let's let's see what's in here sorry I'm sorry about that noise that's horrid um, so we have the uh, the the um, uh, mixable ink cartridges which is quite nice uh, I, I, I think right so you have this you have the dark violet you have the aqua emerald and you have the gold ochre and then we have a sort of a it looks like a, a, a blue black that also came with it and that I put in I had the little a little sleeve here to uh, I think that has the nib size yeah the nib grade on it which is medium it's medium or fine for these pens and then finally we have a little instruction uh, manual how to fill it etc uh, note and I will come back to that note that even though this pen has that nice special uh, feed that allows you to suck up ink from the bottle without submerging the whole um, uh, section there is no car sorry there is no converter supplied with this pen okay uh, another thing that I would uh, like to point out is that it's all a very light metal uh, the pen is not huge, as you can see, but you can post it very comfortably. The cap stays on very well, and then it's very balanced because it's a very light metal, and then you have a really nice size of pen in my mind. So, the Platinum. Platinum, hmm. I'll add a few more just for the fun of it. Platinum Procyon. Uh, we have a medium steel nib, and this is the blue black ink cartridge that came with it. Writing experience. I was very pleasantly surprised. I have used more expensive pens than this that had nibs that were not quite this smooth. So as a writer it's actually very nice. No skipping, works very well. Wetness, it's not a gusher, but as you can see, it does flow well. Line variation, not much. As always, very careful, but this is a pretty stiff nib. Reverse writing is possible and turns the medium into a, I would say, an extra fine. Now, as always, there's the discussion of Japanese nibs. Typically, they're one nib grade uh, finer than their Western counterparts, right? So this is a medium nib. And we could say that this would be a Western fine. But to be fair, I find this pretty medium when you compare it to, say, a Lamy or another type of, you know, other Western pen. Maybe Lamy, sometimes with their fine or extra fine, they're, they're a little inconsistent. But, I mean, take a Waterman or a Parker, I would say this may well be medium. So I don't know if this really is, if the, the adage of Japanese medium as Western fine really applies to this specific pen. Just saying, pointing that out so you can take that into consideration. Okay, there we go. Let's see what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Okay, what do I like, what do I not like about the Procyon? That's how I'm going to say it now. I think this pen has a lot going for it. 5280 US. I don't think it's a, a terrible price when it comes to fountain pens, which are often $100 or more. The, the really big question, I think, is, is this worth the sort of upgraded price from, say, a Preppy or a Plaisir? Well, I think this pen has a lot going for it. So, first of all, I find it very comfortable. 
A Preppy is a great pen, it's about five dollars, but it's very plasticky and it feels, feels very plasticky and to me it always feels like if I squeeze that I will crush it to death. So this pen does not have that, it has a very different feeling to it. The metal is very nice, it's light but it feels very robust. And the section, although that is a sort of a translucent plastic, also feels quite robust which, which I really like. I was very pleasantly surprised by the nib. That is a very, very smooth writer, which I think is, is very, very nice. I like the posting, because this, given the size of this pen, this is something I would prefer to post, and the posting is very secure and is pretty well balanced because of the lightness of that material. I also like that you get a pretty complete package, four cartridges, that's quite exceptional. Usually you get one or two, a blue and a black or something, but here you have four cartridges, three of which have the have platinum's mix free inks which you can actually sort of mix colors which which is quite cool although with a cartridge not that easy but but you get the point it's i think it's quite nice that you get these different color options um overall i would say it feels like it's a well made pen pretty robust pretty nice an interesting texture which i quite like so for me yes it is definitely an upgrade from the Preppy at $5, and I wrote it down, or the Plaisir for $17.60, all at, at Goulet, because Goulet sent me this, so it, it makes sense to compare it. the prices there. It feels different. Even the Plaisir does not have the same feeling this pen has. It does feel like it's a class up, so the price goes up too. Things I don't like about it, not that much. I think for the price, it's, it's a, a pretty sweet pen. Um, it works. I mean, it has a. I mean, the the, the clip. It it. I would almost say that the, the 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 pen feels like it's a higher grade pen than the price would indicate, which obviously is a good thing because more than once it's kind of the other way around, uh, and you you feel like you overpay for a pen. In this case, I really think you you pay a reasonable amount of money for what is actually a very nice pen. So that, I think, is very, very cool. The only real point that I have, or issue that I have, is if you're going to charge $52 for a pen, and if you go through the lengths of uh, designing this special feed so that you can use it with bottle ink, then include a converter. I mean, at, at, I think at $52 you get to the point where you could expect a converter to be included, and if you buy it separately, those things are what, $7 or something? I mean, they're not, I know they're not super cheap, but on the other hand, I would have paid $55 for this if it came with a converter, right? I might even consider paying $60 for it if it came with a converter, because I think it's a very robust pen. So I think that kind of needs to be included. Even if that means the price goes up a little, I think that that should be included. Having said that, I think it's a solid piece, so I don't really have anything else to complain about this pen. And that's all there's to it. Once again, a kind thank you to Goulet Pens for sending me the pen, I really appreciate it. I hope this was useful, and um, I'm glad to see you later. Bye bye.